Dr. West, I'm trying to eat clean. How do you feel about sucralose? What sucralose is, is obviously it's a, a sweetener. And, and you want to be careful with any type of sweeteners. Is sucralose bad? And basically, sucralose is an artificial sweetener. Um, it's con it's considered to be safe in moderation. And, and this is the key, moderation. And how many times do people do things in, in moderation? And they, they really, when it comes to sweeteners, like it's hard to stay in moderation. But basically what it's saying is that it can have significant effects on your body if we have it in excess. They say that it's zero calorie. Sucralose is basically made like there's a process uh, to put it together. Allegedly, it was discovered in the 70s when a scientist at British College misheard instructions about testing a substance. Instead, he tasted it, not tested it, those Brits. Anyway, and he found that it was highly sweet. Allegedly, Tate, Lyle, and Johnson Johnson jointly developed a Splenda product that was introduced to the country in 1998 and has been one of the most popular sweeteners in history. And basically they're using it to substitute for cooking and baking. They say it's calorie free, which oh, it's going to help you to, you know, your metabolism, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think so. No, I do. They may be calorie free, but by it has an effect. Now, here's what happens is their marketing or packaging is saying sucralose has no effects on blood sugar and insulin levels. There was a, a small study that said hey, it had no impact on sugar metabolism or insulin sensitivity. And what happened to the industry? Oh my gosh. Hey, we have something going to be really helpful and useful in the case of you know, blood sugar regulation and diabetes. Now, here's some things to be concerned about. By the way, the takeaway is caution, red light, red light, caution, caution. Not necessarily like I'm not saying never use it. I just like other sweeteners better at high temperature. So when you cook with uh, sucralose, uh, AKA Splenda, it can start to break down. There was a 20, 2010 study, 2010 that uh, heating sucralose with glycerol, a chloro, propranolols. These are thought to raise your cancer risk study. Um, another study said, oh no, no, you don't have to worry about it. And so what they're, what they're saying is, is there's conflict. Now, um, you gotta be really careful with what's happening in your GI system. And we wanna make sure like, hey, what does sucralose do to your, your gut biome? Now there's a study that said that consuming high doses of sucralase for a week did not alter gut biome. There's also studies that suggest short-term sucralose consumption is unlikely to affect gut health. Um, animal studies um, on sucralose. When you take basically this high sweet tasting substance into the body and say it's appropriate for a weight loss, you know, one what they call a meta-analysis of a bunch of studies found that a non-nutritious sweetener could have a, a positive small beneficial effects on, on the body mass index. There's also a study in 2014 that found that there's no connection between artificial consumption and body weight or fat mass. Uh, meanwhile, there's other studies or in, and there's a lot of empirical evidence, like people are coming in and saying, look, this is what happens when I'm on sucralose that I have significant uh, concerns with. And, and basically like if we have really high dose uh, amino acids, which is one of the components of these artificial sweetener pathways, if we have it at high concentrations, the body perceives it as sweet and they're like, yeah, but there's no sugar in it. Like there's no calories. Um, what I found is over time, I think it's really hard on the, the body and system. I don't see anybody that, that uses high doses of artificial sweeteners instead of quote normal sweeteners. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute. That, that do very well. Like, I just think that you're kicking the can down the road and your price is to be paid later. You know, let's talk about sweeteners for a minute. Like I'm all for using stuff to sweeten food, but I like you know, doing it with, you know, apples, with fruits, um, with, you know, avocados, um, even with, uh, you know, strawberries and raspberries. And I really like uh, honey a lot. I, I mean, I love honey as a sweetener. I think molasses is really good. I think pure maple syrup is good. Um, I'm not quite as high on stevia of what it can do for you. I'm not a artificial sweetener fan. Like, let me just say that. I think that it causes other health problems in other areas. So there's my, my thought on that. Again, they, um, 
if you read in the medical literature, I think uh, the consensus is that sucralose is highly controversial. You got to look at who's funding the studies. You know, if it's funded by an entity that has a vested interest in sucralose or Splenda uh, kit production, I think you're going to get a skewed viewpoint. And so anyway, I think it's, I, I just think they're bad. There's my, there's my, um, my take on it. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like more information, education, or want to work with us, head over to best medicaloptions.com. And if you want to help to reach, teach, and heal the world, leave a comment, like, share it with someone that you love. It may seem like an impossible task, but those that are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do.